or the Hebrew word for yom, which I will get into next, is um, the word that we have translated in English to day. And yom in Hebrew carries four different meanings. And uh, the fourth one is the one that we will be going off of to uh, talk about day age. And uh, yom could mean a 24-hour day. Yom could mean a period of the daylight. So from sunrise to sunset, 12-hour period, that could be a yom, which is the Hebrew word for what we translated today. It could be a general or indefinite span of time, or it could be um, a year or an era or an age. So with that definition of the Hebrew word yom used in Genesis 1, we can argue the point that uh, the days in creation are actually much longer than 24-hour periods of time and that they could potentially be billions, hundreds of millions of years. Earlier on in the creation days, they are billions of years. And then later in the creation days, from an old earth perspective, they are hundreds of millions of years but those are yoms and we'll get into more of that in the presentation so to present the old earth argument that the earth was created 4.6 billion years ago and that these days in genesis 1 are in fact longer than 24 hour periods of time we're going to look at psalm 90 which was a prayer by moses and moses wrote the genesis historical narrative as well as the first five books of the Bible. Those are the Mosaic books, or what's known as the Torah, um, in the Christian Old Testament and, uh, you know, Jewish uh, scripture. So, Psalm 90 states, A thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by, or like a watch in the night. You sweep people away in the sleep of death. They are like new grass in the morning. In the morning it springs up, but by evening it is dry and withered. So we see here a thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by. So God, who is outside space-time, is able to have a different time existence, essentially. And a thousand years of our time, which is a very long time to us, is just like a day to the 